Hi, I'm Kate Cos and I'll be showing you how I painted this beautiful seascape from the photo by Anton Nazarotain. Uh, here I'm showing you the brushes I've used and following are the pigments I've used, which are transparent orange, Indian yellow, opera rose and ultramarine blue. I started up with just a simple sketch, sketch the horizon. I helped myself with um, the edge of the page so it's straight. I've also sketched the sun, which has to be wide. We're going to mask it later on. And the wave below. I notice I didn't sketch the clouds because I can then just move them around and plan them as I go along. When the drawing was ready, I used masking fluid to mask the sun and the clouds surrounding it. One thing I didn't do is to make sure the camera was running at the beginning, so I'm really sorry, but you're going to just see me drying out the first layer. This was painted by wetting um, that area and with water first, then doing graduated wash with ultramarine, orange and yellow. And mixing those three colours to do and drop into wet clouds. Um, so I'm going, what I'm doing next here, I'm masking additional uh, clouds a little bit farther away from the sun. So it's going to mask the yellow colour and I'm going to paint it again. After drying out masking fluid it started doing another wash on top of it. Just exactly the same as the previous one. So I mixed uh, first um, ultramarine blue, add a little bit of pink and orange. And just coming down just more yellow and spreading out with a little bit more yellow and orange. The next thing is I switch to the smaller synthetic brush and I'm mixing a darker, as you can see, darker wash to just to drop in some colour into the wet wash, um, suggesting so clouds. So I'm kind of going over what I had before but also adding additional clouds. Here I dragged in my reference so you can see it closer and yeah, you can see I'm doing a little bit of uh, uh, orange on top of those clouds. And just coming closer to the sun itself, the wash for the clouds is more orangey red. And coming outside, I just keep adding blue. So our sky is ready and it's time to do a sea. I'm starting with a yellow wash and I'm gradually going with with orange. So this is the colours that's emanating from the sun. 
and coming outside a bit more more blue and more red. I'm starting to mix a much darker color for the bottom of the uh, wave and it's uh, just achieved by mixing the three colors. Most of it is blue. Here you, I'm adding the little um, uh, lens flare which is really pink. I quite like that it's there. And uh, So at this stage I wet the rest of the page so it spreads out more evenly and I can paint it quicker. I don't need to be controlling it as much. So just keep adding color and try and blend it. Here I'm going over the tops of the wave are catching lovely yellowy pinkish light and it's just dropping it in and hope that paint is going to push the one, the one underneath. The rest of the painting will be just building up layers in the water. So you can see I'm going over on the wet paint and the, the adding another darker uh, wash here. While painting this, just try to see the color the way it really is, the way it appears on the on the reference rather than what we know um, it is. So usually this sea would be blue, but this um, really bright sunset affects the color uh, and how we see them. So whatever you paint around the sun, um, be more red and yellow, and then outside of it you can safely add a bit more blue. I'm adding another wash of blue and orange underneath the sun just to darken the colors. Um, just being careful not to go over the tops of the waves, which I want them to be much lighter.
add a much darker uh, color in the foreground and this is already on dried out paper so it's easier uh, to control shaping those waves a little bit with just darker washes here I dried out the whole layer and because I'm um, taking advantage of it's dry fully dry now I've removed the masking fluid from the from the sky from the sun and the clouds around it and the next stage is um, just keep darkening this this sea uh, and adding a little bit more detail so you can see I'm mixing sort of um, purpley color just starting to add some waves around the sun So here I'm wetting with clean water around the sun, so I want to soften um, that hard edge. So leaving it for a few seconds and then dabbing with tissue. I had to do it a few times and eventually I changed the brush, you can see it here, into synthetic one. Because it's just I can sort of rub it out a little bit better. Um, so uh, it all depends on your paper, sometimes it lifts very quickly. This one is uh, Canson Heritage and I find it's really hard to lift colour from it. Um, whenever I'm finished, as you can see, I'm mixing the yellow color with a tiny bit of red and just finishing those little details in the clouds around the sun.
the painting is finished now, you can see a closer detail here. I hope you enjoyed following my instructions and I hope you're gonna give it a go. Thanks for watching.